I tried the Fly Lady cleaning system for one week with a newborn. The sleep deprivation was real. I only got about three to four hours of sleep. I only got like five hours of sleep last night. The disbelief of how much laundry one tiny human can create? That was real too. I just can't believe after one day of skipping laundry, this is how much I've accumulated. And the solution to that problem. This is the best way to get laundry done. You just invite somebody over to do it for you. <laughs> yeah. The only real way to do it. But during this week of trying to take care of a newborn and keep up with Fly Lady's cleaning system, some of the routine was completed unsuccessfully. Yeah, I didn't get all the dishes done. This is how far I've gotten into cleaning before getting interrupted. But also, successfully. I am very proud of myself because I made my bed two days in a row. So can you do this routine with a newborn? Well, if a newborn and I can dance with a feather duster, then maybe. Why don't you just watch and find out? Geez, so impatient. On the first day, Monday, I attempted to see if I could complete the Fly Lady morning routine. So I began with her task of getting dressed as shoes, which includes putting on your makeup if that's something you like to do. I had a great start to the first day because I decided to wake up a bit earlier than my kids so I could have more time. While I'm already in the bathroom, I'll complete the next task, which is the swish and swipe. Pretty simple, give the toilet and sink a wipe down. Just a very quick clean to keep up in an area that can get gross pretty fast. I thought I heard a baby, but hallelujah, I did not. So the morning routine continues on. Yes, I just have to confirm that there is paint on my shirt. This is how classy of a YouTuber I am. I film myself in my painting clothes when I'm not painting. But that's just the life of having a newborn, right? We keep it real here on my channel. Just a young player did the West Side maybe. But no worries, I did get dressed. Kind of. I lost my sense of fashion when I resorted to diapers postpartum. Are you guys ready to see a baby? Cue the dramatic music. And there's the spit up. What would a video of a baby be without showing some kind of bodily fluid making its way to the surface? So this is Skyla. She is one week old in this video and doesn't know the definition of sleep. And while she chills out on her boppy, I am completing the next morning task, which is, you guessed it, making your bed. Mentioned in every cleaning routine ever to exist since large leaves were used as blankets and to be forever recommended by all future cleaning experts. And here's a big yawn to make you tired. My other child is waking up now. This is Jace, he's four years old, and he's been doing a great job helping me during this time. And it's time to get Skyla dressed to shoes too. Except these slippers fell right off almost immediately, so skip the shoes. Fly Lady also encourages us to eat breakfast. As mothers, it can be easy to skip breakfast because we're so busy. So she actually adds it to the morning routine as a healthy reminder, even if the breakfast isn't very healthy. Now I just got Skyla down for a nap and I'm attempting to complete the next task on the morning routine, which is a load of laundry. Fly Lady says a load a day keeps Mount Washmore away, but what about Mount Foldmore? Because that's what I've got going on here. So instead of starting a new load today, I'm just gonna tackle this one and start a new one tomorrow morning. And I've gotta tell you, four years is a great age gap to have between your kids because what a helpful age four is. So before I could finish the laundry, the baby woke up. Doing tasks all at once poses as a little more of a challenge, but that's okay. I'm gonna do whatever I can to try to make this work so I can conduct the best experiment on if it's possible to follow a cleaning system with a newborn. And Jace's quiet playtime is up. and someone's here. We are just so blessed to be a part of a church that provided us with dinner this week during a time where it can be pretty difficult to cook. So I don't have to worry about the dreaded question. What's for dinner? Oh, yeah, I don't have to do that. I'm not being asked that question this week. So after dinner, I completed my next task of simply checking the calendar to see what the week holds. What's on my calendar? A whole lot of nothing. Which was a useless task during such a time when time doesn't exist anymore. And then after that, I finished up my laundry, which means I completed every task of my morning routine. 
Well, except for clearing the dish trainer, but that's just because there weren't any dishes in it to clear. Oh, and this one too. So I totally forgot to get dressed to shoes. I did get dressed, I got a shirt on, I got my makeup on, but the shoes didn't go on. But I'm gonna count it as completed because most of you skip this task anyway. A lot of you are very angry at the prospect of wearing shoes around the house. Anyway, Monday has gone on long enough, let's move on to Tuesday, where I am once again completing my morning routine, but I'm gonna add more of Fly Lady's routine into my day. It's all about the baby steps, easing your way into things. It can be so hard to get back on track, but you just gotta start somewhere. And I did not wake up early enough to enjoy the benefits of a kidless morning. I am very proud of myself because I made my bed two days in a row. It's pretty impressive. And while she's sleeping, I'm gonna use this opportunity to get a load of laundry in. As promised, I said I would start a load of laundry today. You may have heard me mention how difficult it is for me to get on board with doing laundry each day. Well, I think that's because I had this expectation that the basket needed to be completely full. But what if I just did small loads each day? Then it wouldn't be so intimidating to fold and put away. All right, laundry has started. Skyla took a refreshing 15 second nap. So I'm just gonna have her join me as I attempt to see if I can complete the weekly home blessing. What is a weekly home blessing, you may ask? Well, it's where you complete seven cleaning tasks in a little over an hour, spending only 10 minutes per task. These tasks include dusting, vacuuming, mopping, emptying the trash, purging paper clutter, changing your bed sheets, and cleaning the mirrors and windows. Except I'm only spending five minutes per task because I don't expect that an hour of cleaning can get done with a newborn. Luckily, I have such a great cleaning partner here to help me, so this should be a piece of cake, right? I gotta tell you about this baby carrier. A friend from church gave it to me as a hand-me-down, and wow, this carrier is a game changer. The last carrier I had, I could only wear for about 10 minutes and then it would really hurt my back. But this one, I'm able to wear long term without much back pain at all. I don't know how I survived the last baby without this. It's called a Tula baby carrier, a little pricier than the others, but so worth it. I'll put a link down below if you're in the market for one. But even if you don't get this one, I really think a baby carrier in general is key to getting your home cleaned in those early months. Anything that allows you to have two free hands. I've also heard great things about the Ergo Baby Carriers. And now our five minutes are up and we're moving on to vacuuming. I only have one vacuum, so I'm letting Jace use the dust mop, which he still had a ton of fun with. Thank you to the many of you who just kept encouraging me to get a modernized vacuum. I can't imagine trying to sweep these floors with the baby on my chest like I was doing originally. You guys give the best advice. I honestly learned so much from all of you. Now after this, I'll only have five tasks left to complete my weekly home blessing. Easy, right? Wrong. Do you guys see my face right now? Yeah, I, I'm sweating. Okay, yeah, I've gotten through two tasks of the weekly home blessing and I think I need to sit down like for the rest of the day. After only giving birth one week prior to this video, physical exhaustion came very quickly. Okay, I'm gonna try to set her down. Let's just, let's just hope that she will go down. Okay. I think we might be okay. Yes, I did successfully get her down for a nap. So of course I completed the rest of the weekly home blessing. <laughs> All right, so I just took a nap. What are you looking at? My son is watching TV. Skyla is sleeping. I managed to get the laundry up, which I need to fold now, but the weekly home blessing just not happening today. I am way too tired. So day one, a success. Day two, not so much. Let's see what happens on day three. All right, it's Wednesday and I'm just now getting around to getting my makeup on and getting dressed. I still need to make the bed and attempt to do my morning routine. Okay, not a bad start. Already began some of my morning routine. So Skyla is sleeping right now and Jace and I are gonna play with Transformers and I'm gonna try to make the bed too. So with the bed, I've been making it very sloppily, but even a sloppily made bed is a bed that's enjoyable to get into at night. It's just nice not to have to make it when you're utterly exhausted at 10 p.m. After making the bed, I ran over to the bathroom for a quick swish and swipe, to which I was interrupted by a four-year-old who really wanted to play more, so I didn't get to the swish part. But it's okay because I'm not getting as much quality time with Chase like I used to, and I really want him to feel loved and attended to. Some things are more important than a clean house. And the baby is awake. What can I do next? 
Empty the dish drainer? Well, let's see what past Ariel has to say. So let me tell you, the cool thing about never getting to doing your dishes is that you never have to do the morning task of clearing the dish drainer because you never got any clean dishes in there to begin with. Hashtag facts. So today is Wednesday, and Wednesday is anti-procrastination day. You want to know what I've been procrastinating on? Dishes. My wonderful mother, who knew I was having a baby soon and not going to have, like, any time to get things done, especially dishes, gave me, like, the best gift of all. Paper plates, paper bowls, plastic cups, and plasticware. I haven't done dishes in, like, a week. We interrupt this program to show Ariel and the baby dancing with a feather duster. Okay, Skyla is asleep again and it's time to stop procrastinating. Let's do dishes. I've been trying to figure out how I can do things around the house a little quicker, and as somebody without a dishwasher, I thought it'd be necessary to figure out how I can be faster at washing the dishes. So I did what any normal person would do in 2022. I googled how to do the dishes faster. And here is what I learned and I will share it with you in hopes that it will help you too. If you have a sink like mine that has a double basin, then put all of the dirty dishes to one side and then clean the other side really well. After it's clean, begin to scrub your dishes, but don't rinse them. Put the scrub dishes into the clean side of the sink. Once you're done scrubbing all of your dishes, then you can rinse them all at once. This is especially helpful because my baby woke up while I was still doing dishes, so I was able to hold her in one hand while using the other hand to rinse, which I would not have been able to do if I was still scrubbing the dishes clean. That is a two-hand job. But rinsing can totally be done with one hand. Maybe you already knew this way of cleaning, but hey, it was eye-opening to me and has made doing dishes a much quicker task. Although, she did wake up before I could finish scrubbing them all. Yeah, I didn't get all the dishes done. And yes, doing the dishes also makes me sweat. Everything makes me sweat now. That sweaty mom life. I'm just gonna pretend it's because I'm a mom to a new baby and not because I haven't walked more than half a mile in 10 months. Anyway, all that matters is that I didn't procrastinate dishes today. Amen, sister. <laughs> Moving on to zone cleaning, which is also a part of Fly Lady's routine. Zone cleaning is where you take only 15 minutes a day and clean a zone of the house. Today I'm tackling zone two, which is the kitchen. This should be every week's zone for me because it's the one that always needs the most work. I'm pretty sure those yellow floors used to be white at one point, but I've only lived here three years, so the mystery continues. On October 1st, 2022, the floors were revealed to still be yellow. yellow, yellow, yellow. To be continued on, if floors could talk, only on True Grime. And the baby's up. This is how far I've gotten into cleaning before getting interrupted. It's almost 5 o'clock, my husband's gonna be home soon, and I just have this rule that I really don't like to do a whole lot of cleaning after 5 o'clock. So I guess that's it for today. I also didn't get to doing a load of laundry today, but I did finish folding yesterday's laundry, so that's gotta count for something. And now it is Thursday. I successfully got up earlier than my kids so I could get ahead of the game. Right now I'm making my husband's lunch. I haven't been doing it as often lately, but when I can, I like to help him out in that way. Yes, he likes peanut butter on both sides of the bread with jelly in the middle. It seems strange, but once you try it, you can never go back to the old way of making peanut butter and jelly. It's that good. All right, I'm dressed now and I'm already jumping into my morning routine. I'm putting on my makeup and fixing my hair. After I finish the morning routine, I'm going to spend the rest of the day seeing if I could complete Fly Lady's evening routine with a newborn. We should see. I'm feeling pretty good about today and I'm already off to a great start this morning. I even had time to wipe down the sink and toilet and make myself a cup of coffee. And since I actually did the dishes yesterday, I can finally do the morning task of emptying the dish drainer. Darn you, Ariel, for being responsible last night, causing me more responsibility today? I cannot believe I've gotten this much done before either of my kids woke up. I think we could actually call this a miracle. Look up the word miracle. I bet that's what it says. Definition, getting fully ready before your kids wake up in the morning. There's my husband, he's off to work, and I actually have two available arms to hug him. 
And before the kids wake up, let me enjoy this last moment of peace and quiet. Coffee tastes so much better when you're by yourself. So it's a couple hours later, Jace went to grandma's house, Skyla is napping, and I'm grabbing my next load of laundry. I just can't believe after one day of skipping laundry, this is how much I've accumulated. I think doing laundry every day might actually be a necessity now that I have a baby. And yes, I'm sweaty. I'm always sweaty. Baby's up. Yeah, that nap didn't last very long, but it's okay. I got a lot done this morning, so I'm just gonna spend a little time with her. Having a newborn makes you very busy, but at the same time, it slows things down as well. You have a lot of time that you spend feeding them and cuddling them and just being present in the moment. Sometimes it's nice. Other times you feel like you're going crazy and need to get out of the house. So while she's relaxing in her crib, I will use this time to make the bed. I've made it four days in a row now and it is truly rewarding. Nothing like climbing into a made bed when you're utterly exhausted. And now that my morning routine is complete, it's time to start the evening routine. There's nothing that says you can't start an evening routine in the afternoon. Skyla is napping again and I've got to take my opportunities because it may not be there tonight. So the first task of the evening routine is to shine your sink, which includes doing all of the dishes. I don't have many dishes in here to begin with, so it shouldn't be too hard. Oh, wait a minute. I got about 30 seconds in and the baby's awake. But it's okay, I'll just put her in this rocker and maybe she'll be content, or maybe not, as I run back to her a total of four times to return the pacifier to her mouth. I at least got all the dishes scrubbed so that I could just hold her and rinse the rest. Dishes are definitely the biggest challenge still, before baby and after baby. Before because I just hate doing the dishes and after because have you ever tried to clean dishes by hand while wearing your baby? It doesn't really work out very well and baby wearing is how I get everything else done. So the only way I can get the dishes done is by putting her down when she allows me to or recruiting my husband, of course, which I do. So I didn't get to shining the sink, but hey, the dishes are done. It's getting later into the evening and I'm moving on to the next task of spending two minutes clearing a hotspot in your home. This box with the word stuff on it is literally dedicated to throwing clutter in and worrying about later. I might as well have bought a box that said hotspot right on it. It's not very healthy, but at least it's hidden. Better than having your hotspot be a flat open area where everyone else can see your piles and piles of clutter, which I also have too. I've got like four hotspots in my home. All right, my two minutes are up and it's time to cook dinner. And dinner is served. I know, I'd be crying too if I couldn't eat this delicious frozen pizza. Yeah, cooking a week after I pushed out a baby, not happening. I'm off duty and if anyone asks me what's for dinner this month, I'm gonna give them a knuckle sandwich. Well, except for my four-year-old son, of course. I, I do not endorse the violence against hungry children. Or not, or not hungry children, or any children. Uh, I, uh, Cut. So bedtime happens pretty early in this house. It's only 6.30 and she is falling asleep before I even have her PJs on. I like to double swaddle her, not just because it makes her look stinking adorable, but also because it helps her to sleep better and we like it when she sleeps. She sleeps in a bassinet in our bedroom and we tend to keep the AC on high so I've got to keep her cozy. Well, I guess I'm putting her to bed now and no, I did not complete the rest of the evening routine. I got through two tasks. Three, if you count getting to bed at a decent hour. Good night. So can you complete a fly lady evening routine with a newborn? Maybe, but I found it difficult. Mornings tend to be when babies are at their happiest. Nights, not so much. Oh yeah, and it's the next day. Last night was one of the worst nights I've had this week. I only got about three to four hours of sleep. I am so tired. Well, so much for going to bed at a decent hour. Gee, if I knew I would have slept horribly anyway, maybe I would have stayed up late and watched Gilmore Girls. So today is Friday, and on top of doing the morning routine, I will take on Fly Lady's afternoon routine as well. So far, I'm dressed, makeup's on, and the bed is being made. Look at that. I made my bed every day this week, even with a very cranky baby who doesn't want to be put down. Only a truly talented lady can make the bed with one arm. 
And those of you who are wondering about how the laundry is going, this is the best way to get laundry done. You just invite somebody over to do it for you. <laughs> yeah, it works every time. Indeed it does. Okay, the baby's napping and I'm just gonna do 15 minutes of zone cleaning and clean up in this room as much as possible. Zone cleaning is included on Fly Lady's afternoon routine. So I'm setting my timer for 15 minutes and I'm gonna try to finish what I started this past Wednesday. Oh, and while I'm thinking of it, it is also on her afternoon routine to drink water. This is my favorite water bottle because it's huge and it has time markers on it, which is very helpful to keep me accountable on staying hydrated. I've been using it every day for a year now and I love it. I also love how Fly Lady encourages you to take care of yourself. You don't just have cleaning tasks on her routine, but she also encourages you to be healthy. Drink water, exercise, brush your teeth, eat breakfast. If we can't take care of ourselves, how do we expect to take care of our homes and our families? I once heard a quote from the author L.R. Nost, who said, taking care of myself doesn't mean me first. It means me too. So thank you, Fly Lady, for encouraging us to take care of ourselves and how nice it is to actually finish what I started. Thank you, Skyla, for taking a nice long nap. Time is up and I'm gonna go take a nap. So after my non-existent nap, because that didn't actually end up happening, I checked out the next task on the afternoon routine and wait a minute. Oh, that's not actually my husband asking me. We're all good. But the coolest part about having a baby is our church keeps bringing us meals. Are you pregnant and about to have a baby? Well, then you best get to church to uh, seek out the Lord and his goodness. So I didn't have to worry about cooking this week, which was a beautiful, beautiful thing. And we don't have to worry about dishes either because we're eating off paper plates. This is the way to do it. The last task on Fly Lady's afternoon routine is 15 minutes of exercise. So I strapped the baby back onto my chest and we took a walk. It's amazing how easily your body can tire after such a short walk. I didn't even go a minute over 15 and I was whooped. Having a baby takes quite a toll on your body and that completes the afternoon routine. All right, so it's been a week and we still need to answer the question of can you do the Fly Lady system with a newborn? And I say yes and no. No, because you can't take it all on. There's no way I'm completing the morning, afternoon, and evening routine with a zone cleaning included. Time just does not allow and neither does my energy levels. But the reason I say yes is because even though I didn't complete all the tasks each day, even completing half the list made my house feel clean. I actually invited a friend over knowing that I could do that. And honestly, if I wasn't doing the Fly Lady system that week, then I definitely would not have invited that friend over. So if completing half the list still results in a clean home, then I'd still call that a success. But do I recommend that you do the Fly Lady routine with a newborn? No. Honestly, I sacrificed naps to clean. It was a really tiring and difficult week. I had just given birth a week prior and here I am cleaning when I'm in a lot of discomfort. Honestly, I should have rested more. I should have been okay with the mess, knowing it's just temporary and I'm gonna have a clean home again. And then maybe trying the fly lady routine closer to the two to three month mark when sleep is a bit more established. If you're a mom to a newborn, don't be so hard on yourself. The dishes and the laundry, they'll wait for you, okay? They're very patient. But this special time with your babies, it's gonna pass so quickly. So just enjoy this time and invite your grandma over instead. Are you a total beginner and want to learn about how this fly lady system works? Well, I cover it all in this video. This is Fly Lady 101. Go check it out. Let's make your home a place you can love to be in. I'll see you in a minute.